downhill racing, it's easy, isn't it? It's all downhill. Well, yeah, you might think so, Neil. The tracks are relatively short, three to five minutes. But consider this. Within 15 seconds of leaving the start, your heart rate will already be almost maxed. So that is true. It's an anaerobic workout, and add to that that you're riding really technical tracks when you're really, you know, in the red, shall we say. Definitely, yeah. Most events are two days, so you've got to do those efforts for the both days. And then if you race at the highest level at World Cups, you'll find they're a three-day event. So almost you need a big base fitness and that power and strength. So fitness is definitely a big part of racing downhill. Build a good base fitness. This fitness would carry you through a race weekend. Road riding is a great way to do that. I would look to do two rides a week, ranging from one to two hours. What you want to feel when you get home is quite tired, aching legs, and perhaps that you wouldn't be able to go at that pace for another two hours. Sprint training. This makes up a large part of training for downhill. In the early part of the season, these need to be one or two minute sprints. So find yourself a mellow hill, sprint up it, roll back down and go again. These are gonna build up your lactate tolerance. Start off with four and try and build up to eight or 10. As the season approaches, these sessions should get shorter and more intense. Maybe using a static bike or a turbo trainer, sprint for 10 or 15 seconds at maximum power. Try to do 10, 15 second maximum effort sprints. Chest press or bench press is great for some upper body strength. It's not all about the legs for pedaling. I also like to throw in some dumbbell moves for my shoulders. Great for shoulder stability, but also to prevent injuries. Squats are the staple exercise for downhill mountain biking. If you want to generate power on the pedals, this is the exercise to do. I try to aim for five reps, five sets. Deadlift, also a great exercise for aiding that power through the pedals. Technique is really important here. Getting it wrong, you can damage your back, so be careful. Circuits are a great high intensity workout that will also get your heart rate racing. 105, 106, 107, 108. There's loads of classes at your local gym. Get yourself down there. We have some great ideas, and then you can start building your own circuit. 112, 130. I would try and get two sessions a week if there was not a race at the weekend. As far as I was concerned, this was the most important session of the week. I'd be looking to do eight to 10 runs and simulate as close as possible to a racing situation. I would even time those runs to make sure that I was improving and I could get faster and attack the track every single run. Cross-country riding is also great training for downhill. You might want to replace one of your road rides with a proper cross-country ride. Not only are you working on your fitness, but it's also really good for working on your skills. So there you go, there's training for downhill. Actually, the top World Cup racers are all super strong, super fit athletes. Yeah, that's true, they certainly are. The bulk of this work will be done in the pre-season because it becomes really difficult to get good sessions in in between races. Because you've got to remember, you need to be rested up and fresh, ready for the weekend. And if you want to check out more videos from GMBN, you can click up there for Train for Enduro. Part one of our training series, really, there'll be training for cross country as well coming at some point. Fundamental skills will carry you a long way. So if you click down here, that'll get you through to our skills playlist. And like always, you can just click on us to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos. Thumb up, like.